how you feel under here about Um, oh, I'm worried about training today at the moment, but um, I guess I'm just taking it day by day. Pretty stoked. Um, yeah. And you said that you <coughs> lost your voice or you were quiet. Is that just about you trying to soak up everything and soak up the All Blacks environment and everything that comes with that since you've come to camp? Oh, I lost it before I came to camp. Um, Was that because of the celebration? Yeah, a little bit. Um, by from the hucker, I think. So, Cody, what have you seen from from my team through? I suppose not just this year, but the, the last few years at, at the Crusaders, which sort of tells you he's ready for this next step. Um, oh, I think you know he's been in the system down south for a few years now. Um, you know, you don't have to look twice <coughs> to realise um, there's a lot of potential there, and. Uh, I think over the last year or two, uh, he's had a, a great opportunity to play some Super Rugby. Um, unfortunately, he's on the back of a few boys getting injured, but um, Big B stepped in there and put his hand up, and um, I'm just hugely proud of the efforts, you know, from being a prop that comes off the bench playing 20 minutes to someone that played like 70 in, in a Super Rugby final and um, played extremely well. I think uh, it's a testament to him and his work he's put on off the field. And um, also the support he has behind him. So just excited to see him get out there and, and play test footy. What's your advice to Tamaiti playing South Africa? A team obviously where you're going to go don't play a lot of Yeah, it, I think it's different. You know, it's, I don't know. Have you played South Africa before? No, no in terms of Super? No. no I yeah, so oh, I think you just got to take each moment as it comes, enjoy it, and soak it up, and then just rip in. Um, yeah, we're seeing when. He has the ball in hand, he's pretty handy and um, he's been going pretty good at set-piece time as well, so it's going to be a big challenge, but um, you know, there was someone similar, Fletcher Newell last year debuted against I it was South Africa as well and he definitely put his hand up and I know they get along really well, so he might have some advice from there too. Michael, is this something you've thought of as a youngster when you first started playing footy? Uh, something you dream of. Um, I think a lot of young Māori boys could only dream of being in this team. So um, for me to get an opportunity is, is pretty cool. And um, yes, yeah, it's, it's just, it, um, yeah, as, as I said, I, as a young Māori boy, not a lot of people get the opportunity to put the black jersey on as many times as this guy anyway. So yeah, it's just cool. Have you had a chance to uh, talk to your friends in Tano and um, how did they react? Um, I called my parents first. Um, mum just cried, dad didn't say anything, and then I called my fiance and she, she just cried too, so uh, I think it's taken a bit of time for them to, to let it soak in, but um, yeah, they, they're just happy. I know you lived in Australia a fair while, but was it always the All Blacks for you, even through that time? Yeah, always the All Blacks, yeah, 100%. Um, I did like Lee growing up, so... but. For me, All Blacks was the the pinnacle. Did you play some league over there? Or? Yeah, I grew up playing league. Um, union on Saturday, league on Sunday, so I was pretty busy weekends. But um, my family always sat down to watch a, an All Blacks game, especially over there. To my team, lots been said and written about your improvement this year, but in your own mind, where do you feel you've been able to to make this you know this improvement of a step? To the level you're at now? Um, <clears throat> I, had to have, I had to have a hard look at myself and, and my fitness. Um, I had mentors like this guy around me down there and just said, I asked him, said, well, what do I have to do? And he said, you've got to get fit. So I had a big off season and um, yeah, I just came in and I just want to train every day and, and get better. So that was the main goal. What does it mean to represent? Very small town in the far north that often doesn't get a lot of great publicity. Yeah, good question. It means a lot. Um, my uncle's Eric Rush, so he was a big mentor for me coming through, um, especially school in Auckland. And then he texts me every now and then, just saying you got to keep pushing for the, for, for the people in the far north. Um, 
yeah, it means a lot for my family. So, yeah. Now, what is your dream career? Uh, for me, not much changes. Um, I try to keep it as simple as I can. Um, you know, there's a lot going on, so just keep my game prepped the same. Because all, all I need to do is go out there and do my own job for the team. So, yeah. Cody, um, Ian Hicks is the fifth in the in the hooking department. How much does that um, push your game? Yeah, I think um, you got to be on, don't you? Um, you know, the back of last week, Colsey played pretty well and doesn't get a crack this week, but definitely put his hand up and you know, we've seen what Sonny can do, uh, play super level and all black level. So, yeah, there's the element of, um, I suppose, pressure there to, that you want to nail your role as well and get out there and, and do it for the boys. So, um, this great opportunity and a great challenge, I think. So, yeah. Cody, is it important that last week's performance is a bit of a benchmark for this group? going forward with only four since before the World Cup? Uh, I think it's a great start. I don't know if it's a benchmark. I think this week will be a real tell for us as a as a, as a team, especially as a forward pack. Um, you know, they've probably got one of the most formidable forward packs in the world in terms of size and ability and the way they play the game. So um, what a challenge at home. We played them twice over there last year and get to play them here before, a, yeah, it's going to be a big World Cup, so. How much do you relish that sort of challenge personally? Oh, it's it's huge, mate. I think, uh, you know, if you if you talking about the man standing opposite you, there's a couple of great hookers there, and um, you know, right across the board, they they play bloody good footy, and they're big men. They they're not small, so um, it's no better challenge as an All Black to go against a, a South African forward pack like they have. Yeah, I think uh, mentally you've got to get yourself in a in a pretty dark place um, and be ready for what's coming. Uh, but at the same time, I think um, you know we've made good stead in our forward pack over the last sort of 18 months, and um, yeah, we're going to fire a few shots too. So. Scariest. Oh, for me, uh, growing up, it was uh, probably just the most formidable was Schalke Berger. You know, he's a bit of a beast and yeah, he threw everything at whoever was in front of him. You mentioned two, two hookers. What, what different qualities do they have that you've got to keep an eye on? Um, I think they're they great scrummages. Uh, they both have different ways of going about it, but um, they back themselves in that area. Uh, we had a great line out option. Um, um, throwers and you know around that mall stuff you know they're always on the back sort of looking for opportunities so um, I think they've just always played with a lot of confidence and, and you've got to go out there and, and match that all if not be better so it's a good challenge. Tomorrow team you talked about your um, uh, mobility and obviously your, your fitness and um, you, it's sort of been recorded that you've trimmed down a little bit to, to give to help that but how important for you and your game is your size? I mean, it's part of who you are, isn't it? It's part of how you make your impact. You have to balance kind of keeping that size and that and that power. Yeah, it's good. It's good being big, but if, <laughs> if you're big and you can't get around, you you can't do anything. So, um, for me, it was just it's just getting more involvement in the game and and being big. So, if I can get my hands on the ball more. I have to be fitter, so um, like you said, it's just balancing it out. Um, yeah. How much weight have you trimmed off since you came into Super Rugby? I weighed in at 139 this morning. Um, I think the heaviest in Super Rugby I've been was 149, so yeah, important, fluctuates. That's an important 10 kgs, right? Yeah, it's a lot, man. Mum <laughs> yeah. and Dad coming down. Yep. The game, obviously. <coughs> yep, mum and dad's making the trip down from the north. And others from, from up here? Or? Yeah, I try to keep it... Uh, the whole north would come if they could, but um, the tickets are expensive, so... Nah, just get my mum and dad, my grandparents, um, my fiancé and my sisters, so... Where are your grandparents from, up here? Yep. Clarence? Yep. Yeah. They're both 
Fall schon ein Dorf hier. Okay, you obviously get most of your first impact you have of is it of a size you call man mountain, but how much beyond that do we offer to you know, you you've seen the Maldives brand mm. particularly this year. How much more do we offer than just a big being the first group? Oh I think um from what I've seen, you know, I don't think I've seen someone with a that stature and skill set in the world around um, his ability to play with the ball, um, explosiveness and footwork for a big man. I've always joked that he should go to the NFL and have a crack because he'd go right, I reckon. But um, he obviously likes it here a bit too much, um, which is a good thing because we need him. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty impressive, and uh, yeah, that stuff doesn't just happen. You know, he's obviously been gifted with um, good genes and. Um, he's got a great mum and dad behind him that support him, so he's had to still put in some hard work to get there, which um, I think everyone should be pretty proud of. Then we'll do one more, please. Mike, we've predominantly played um, loosely, played a bit tightly this year. Is that a, a continual journey that you're on, wanting to do both, or is it a specialised in one? Um, yeah, yeah, my whole career I've, I've kind of jumped back and forward. Um, like Code said, unfortunately, for the, some of the boys getting injured. Um, like I said before, it's, it's a part of my prep now. Um, you got to expect anything in a game of rugby. So this week I'll just be focusing on loose head. But um, going forward, I think I'll always prepare for both sides. You mentioned before you don't really play that much of a backer. Are there any memories in particular? Was that Springbok battle that really came to be? Any memories that stand out? Uh, just some big hits, man. Um, just, I just love the physicality you see on TV um, when the All Blacks and Springboks meet. So um, it's something I'm looking forward to. What position do you play in the East? Um, nah, pop. <laughs> 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 Cheers, team. Thanks. Cheers, team.